early Monday morning, there were over 4,000 customers without power throughout Indian River County. Power companies cut that by nearly 1,000 by early afternoon. Residents tell me they see the crews out here working and they're trying to stay patient. A tornado that ripped through the Highlands neighborhood left many with more than just power outage concerns. When I see lines down, I don't cross them. And for others, the days without power are adding up, making a major inconvenience. Can't shower, you can't, unless you want to take a cold shower. Can't cook how you want to, you got to get on the grill. Thurl Beach Veterans Inc. is miles away and is still without power and dealing with major damage. The building commander tells me he has high hopes for when he can reopen. Well, ideally, I'd love to be open by the end of the year, but I don't know if that's practical or not. Back in Highlands, Jones wants her power back on. She's lived in Florida for decades and has this advice for future storms. You never get used to it. Run, if you can, run. Run away from it. FPL says 95% of homes should have power by the end of the day. Jones and Hart were both happy to hear the news. Residents tell me they're thankful for all these electric companies from FPL and all around the country making sure that they're okay. They tell me that even though they're without power, they're happy to be alive. Reporting in Indian River County, Mellow Styles, WPTV News.